Welcome to Rising Woman Leaders, a safe space for women to thrive in community where their voices and stories are heard. We're a sisterhood supporting each other to live our dreams and embody the sacred feminine to restore balance on our planet. Join us each week as we return to the unconditional love and guidance of our heart and our womb. I'm your host, Meredith Rahm, and I invite you to walk this path of beauty, devotion, and service with us. A common theme that's been coming up this week in my work with clients has been the intense amount of pressure that we put on ourselves to be in a constant state of producing and doing, taking action, taking things off the to-do list, checking all of the things, creating content, constantly being in a mode of productivity. And I think the challenge is a lot of us have attached our sense of self-worth on these kind of crazy and sometimes almost unattainable dreams. The amount of pressure we put on ourselves sometimes in just American culture, at least where I grew up, of um, growing up and being perfect and getting the good grades and getting a job and a family and buying a house and the list goes on of all the things. And then when even when we get there, it's like we can't fully enjoy it because there's always this endless list of things to be doing and to be producing. I've really noticed even in being someone who has a podcast or an Instagram feed or a following, so often we feel this pressure to be constantly producing. And I've been tuning in about this and really asking the guidance from the divine of what is the message we're really meant to hear around all of this. Because the truth is, we are not machines. We're not here to constantly be producing and creating. We're here to live and to enjoy and to be in relationship with each other and to heal and experience presence and beauty and everything that is around us in the present moment. And this is definitely something that I've struggled with, of just living in the future and thinking of all the things that need to get done and putting this pressure. And it can almost be like this underlying current of stress that we don't even know that we're carrying. So I've been having a channeling practice for maybe the last year or two. And what this is, I started off just writing And I would tune in to either an Ascended Master, very often it was Mary Magdalene, or sometimes it would be just God, Source, the Universe, um, sometimes speaking directly to my higher self or soul, and asking a question and then receiving the guidance from that higher source through writing. So it really helped to start off this practice through writing, and I would just write my questions, write my concerns, And then at the end, say, love, Meredith. I turn to the next page and write, dear Meredith, from this higher perspective and just write and just see what came through. And over time, this, it was like this muscle that was being worked and it would get easier and more strong. And then this past year, I started working more with just talking and receiving the messages from the divine just through tuning in to that channel and then seeing what came through in the moment. I have a dear friend on the island here. I've been living on Kauai this past um, six or seven months and and we'll do this practice with each other. We'll say, hey, do you want to practice? Do you want to just ask each other questions? And tuning into that higher guidance and wisdom has been so helpful in making decisions and receiving a perspective outside of the ego or our small selves. So here's the message I received the other day that I wanted to share with you. Dear beloved soul, I'm here to remind you of what is real. We make all the to-dos and tasks seem so much more real and urgent than they really are. 
you get to live a life of beauty and presence right here and right now. Let go of all the pressures weighing on your heart and head. Take the pressure off. You are a divine soul here to be and to shine. Your existence is enough. There's nothing more you need to do. Simply follow the innocent yes of your heart to have fun, to serve, to rest, and to create beauty. Offer your burdens to me. There's nothing more you need to do but be patient. I love you just as you are. The idea that you need to change in any way to receive my love is false. Wait for the natural impulse to act. Until then, rest. Be still. Wait. There isn't really anything better than here and now on the other side. Even then, when you get over there, you may find yourself waiting for another imagined future. Be still. Wait. Take your time. No one out there needs you to be different or more productive. You are not a machine. You are a human with feelings and depth. Let go into the abyss of all that you are and all that you came here to be. I will always provide for you. Decisions will be made in divine time. There's nothing you need to do. The only problem in... Your culture is that you are uncomfortable in the nothingness. This is why we call together this great time of stillness and slowing down to be present with all you were avoiding. And still, many of you added more to your plates. The ego is illusory, but can be very deceptive and cunning. It will trick you into imaginary pressures that are completely imaginary. I am the truth in the way, sending you so much love, the heavenly mother, father that lives inside of you. So I hope you will receive this message today, take it into your heart, rest into the stillness and the presence of this moment. Remember that here and now is really all that there is. Feel your breath, feel your feet on the earth. Allow there to be a natural impulse to take action rather than pushing or forcing anything to be or move more quickly than is divinely aligned. And I also encourage you perhaps to start your own channeling practice a time where you can sit with your journal and ask questions and then turn the page and just tune into that higher perspective and write back to yourself as if you were the divine. And you'll be surprised when you go back and read some of those messages just how pertinent they feel, how they really start to feel like, wow, this couldn't have even come from me. And allow that to change you and to guide you. So I'm sending you so much love. Um, I'm really excited for just what is to come this year. Um, You may have noticed I'm slowing down a bit and releasing episodes and being more present in the moment. Um, The next thing that's on the horizon that I'm really excited to share with you all is uh, an EFT tapping training. I haven't set the date yet, but stay tuned. Um, it's been the most powerful tool that I've been using in my one-on-one healing and coaching work, and I'm excited to share more about that with you as the months continue. So until then, I just am sending you all lots of love, and I hope you are able to rest into the presence of this beautiful day. Many blessings. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to this episode. If you liked it, share it with a friend or leave us a review on iTunes. You can 
also follow along on Instagram at Rising Woman Leaders and sign up for email updates at risingwomanleaders.com to be sure to receive all the new and inspiring content. Thanks again for being here. It's an honor to walk this path with you.